How do you create a Gmail account? It's pretty easy and the first thing you need to do is go to gmail.com in your browser. So type in gmail.com. You should land on this page. If you don't, look in the upper right hand corner for a sign in or create new account button. Once you're on this page, this is actually the sign in page. So at the bottom, you can see this little button that says create account. We're gonna click on that. You can choose whether it's for personal use for a child or for your work or business. I'm going to click for personal use. Now we can type in our name. Last name is optional. It also doesn't have to be your name, but you can type in whatever you want here. And we'll click next. After that, it'll ask for some basic information, like for instance, birth date. So we could just choose a birth date here and put it in. It actually doesn't have to be your birth date. This one is not mine, uh, but we could choose any year if we want to. We could also choose gender, which you have options of like saying, I'd rather not say, for instance. And so we can click next. And then you get to choose your actual Gmail account. So like, what is the username? What is the email that you're going to choose? So in this case, I'm going to do something like Spencer pixel and bracket at gmail.com. That one shouldn't be taken. It'll tell you if it's been taken and you might have to add some numbers or change what you use. This could take you a second to figure out the Gmail that you want. And then you're going to click next. Then of course you'll create some kind of password. So I'm going to type in a password here. It's best if the password is longer and more like phrase based, and then you can include some numbers and special characters in it. After you've typed in your password, if you want to make sure that you see it, uh, the same in both. You can check mark this to show the password just to make sure you typed it in the way you think you did. And then we're going to hit next. After that, you can add a recovery email address. So if there's unusual account information, if you want to set up two factor login, you can use this email address or you can skip it if you don't have one. So here's what we're going to be creating. You can see the name here and then Spencer pixel and bracket at gmail.com and we can hit next. There's privacy and terms, so the data that they use, etc. So you agree with that. Confirm. Now I ran into a temporary error glitch, so what I could do is try again with this button right here. And that took me to my mailbox. So it should have taken me to the mailbox, but because I ran into that error, I had to click that button. That was just a quick server issue. Perfect, while I was recording this tutorial. And so now I have a Gmail inbox, Spencer Pixeline Bracket at gmail.com. Now, another thing that you might run into as you're signing up for a new Gmail is uh, entering in your phone number. And so that might be a question that Gmail asks. And I thought that they were going to, but they didn't in that sign up flow. And so it might be just a situation where if you're not logged into other Gmail accounts, and creating a new one, they might not ask you for your phone number, or they might ask you for your phone number, and they especially will if you're setting up two-factor login. But that's a quick, easy tutorial on how to create a Gmail account.